food pantry day. Let's check on the mini fridge. We have got plenty of room in here. Oh, that's my medicinal tea. I have to drink that. The side is almost 100% clear, so we're gonna fill this up. Let's head on out to the food pantry. All right, we're gonna head out to the food pantry. I got all my bags. Mr. Turtle, do you want me to bring you back a surprise? Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul. It means a lot to me when you subscribe, so I hope I earn your subscription. And to all of the returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Let's get into the food pantry haul and I'll show you what I got. First up, let's take a look at the meats and please stay tuned for the score of the week under this little yellow towel. I have been so fortunate. I keep getting these big blocks of beef and this is the Virginia beef. And it says 80-20, really glad to get this. Next up, let's take a look at the perishable items. We got some really great stuff this week. We have got, we'll start with this, the raspberry eclair. That's delicious. These little energy bites, miniature cannolis. We've got one, two, three, four little milks. Perfect for the mini fridge. We have some cut fruit and the mother load of salad kits. We've got one, two, three, four, plus some little rolls with meat. And we got goat cheese guacamole this i wish was a smaller container but i can't complain i mean who doesn't love some fried chicken fingers that's going to be good in the air fryer we've got a chicken cutlet and then we got two containers of rotisserie chicken plus we got this organic 
bone broth. It's called chicken bone broth. That's gonna be good. It looks like glass, but these are plastic jars and these were frozen, but I'm gonna thaw that in the mini fridge. Really excited to work with all of this good food. Thank you, Food Pantry. I almost forgot, we got this cucumber. Is this the English cucumber? I know some of the subscribers mentioned that English cucumbers, you can eat the skin. I don't know what this one is. Do you know? Let's take a look at the non-perishable items. The first one I'm so excited about is this really big jar of jam. It is a 36 ounce jar and it's that fancy brand. And I love this jar. I'll be keeping it and reusing this once I'm done eating the product. Really nice find. And I got four of those mint waters. Those are fantastic. A big bag of walnuts, a four pack of applesauce, unsweetened. Plus, we got some organic unsweetened coconut cream and two Amy soups. One is lentil, the other is vegetable barley. I think the most exciting item on this table is the big glass jar because I'll be able to reuse that. That's a fantastic brand and a great jar. I am a little concerned about this because it's got a pop-off lid and you can see there's a dent right here. Would you use this? I don't see any product seeping out, but I'm a little concerned about the lid having a dent right there. Let's take a look at the bathroom and kitchen supplies. This is a great item, a roll of paper towels. We've got the two rolls of Amazon toilet paper. And this was an interesting item. It says Girl Scouts Lemon, and I guess it's just like a lemon scented native deodorant. I'm excited to give it a try. Then, I've never heard of this brand. It's called Felix Gray, and it says Insight Eye Comfort and Vision Support. So uh, the vitamins are good until 2026, so I'm gonna add that to my vitamin stash. I do know the food pantry gets a lot of items from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, and those seem to be like higher-end grocery stores. I think that's why they have stuff like native products. They don't have that all of the time, but when they do, I try to get it. Also, the vitamins, great to stock up on. I might see if my man wants to try this, because if he comes over smelling like lemon Girl Scout cookies, I think I might enjoy that. What do you think? Let's take a look at the countertop perishables. We have got some cheese biscuits, or as I like to call them, cheddar biscuits. Love these. And they let me take home a big old bag of apples. Now, these apples are small. I know my hands probably look large on camera, but I actually have small hands. So these are teeny tiny little apples. I'm glad to get these. Look at the beautiful variation in the colors. You've got the red, pink, yellow, absolutely gorgeous. This reminds me of fall, which I can't wait for because I sweat in the summer. These little apples, they're so cute. I got this little basket from the thrift store some time ago. It's been really great to put fruit in. I love how that looks, really beautiful. Ta-da! The score of the week is a pack of garlic pepper. You know I like that. And this is by Tyson, and this is beef. Yeah, it says beef steaks. And the big question is, will all of this food fit in my mini fridge? Please stay tuned and we'll find out. I'm so excited to work with all this food. I'm definitely gonna have to make a food pantry meal today to make sure I can get everything in the mini fridge. But, oh, I have a mini fridge if you're new to the channel because that's what I could afford when I bought my trailer. So let's go ahead and try to get all of this food in the mini fridge and see how we do this week. First things first, I'm gonna put the little milks in the mini fridge.
thank you to the subscriber that recommended I put my probiotics in the refrigerator. All right, I'm not gonna repackage this because this is all packaged up tightly already. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, let's wash up. We are gonna repackage this chicken. This time I'm gonna use a little glass jar. smell this chicken. It smells all right. And container number two going in the jar. This will fit in the mini fridge a lot easier than these two bulky containers. Let's make a food pantry day meal. And I make a food pantry day meal so I can make room in my mini fridge so everything will fit. So this is what I removed from the salad kit because these hurt my teeth and I just don't enjoy eating it. And that's what I'm keeping. Oh, look, we got cheese. We got dressing. All right, let's add some dressing. I'm gonna start off with about half of it and see if that's enough. Let's mix up the salad. Let's add a little more dressing or a lot more. This is a good mix. Let's keep mixing. Mix it up. We're gonna pop this in the microwave. Let's do the plate trick and flip this over. There we go. Into the microwave you go for one minute. I pulled this out of the microwave and we're just gonna slice this up because I think it will heat up quicker if it's not one big chunk, but if I got it in little slices. Let's add the packet of cheese that came with the salad kit right on top. And this lemon came with the chicken. We're just gonna squeeze this over top the chicken. Let's add the croutons that came with the salad kit right on top. I have just a little bit of black pepper left, but you know what time it is. Pepper, pepper, pepper. It's pepper time. I really gotta go to the store and get some more black pepper. Uh-oh. And this is my beautiful salad kit food pantry lunch for the day with a cutlet of chicken added that I heated up in the microwave. We've got all of the ingredients that came with the salad kit, the Parmesan cheese, the little croutons, the dressing, and of course the beautiful black pepper. Oh, this looks so good. I wanna taste this chicken. Let's give this a try. A big old chunk of chicken right there. Yummy. Okay, I just took a bite off this chicken. It's absolutely delicious. Let's take a bite of the greens and see how these came out. The greens are delicious. I love these salad kits. You can make a really great meal from ingredients from your food pantry. Thank you, food pantry. The big question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. Look at the mini fridge. It is stacked and packed. I got salads everywhere. I got chicken bone broth. I got all kinds of good stuff in here. Looking great. So glad to get all of these items. It's trash day. Let's go to the dump. Mr. Turtle says hello. Look at you looking handsome. 
got a little trash right there. I better take that too. At the dump, let's see what we can find this week. We got some goodies. Is that for sewing? Oh wow, look at all this stuff. Hey, is that a flag? It is a flag, that's wonderful. I'm taking that home. We're driving back home. I'm so excited to get this flag. And here's my beautiful lunch plate. I have the turkey and cheese sandwich heated up in the air fryer. A big scoop of peanut butter with an energy bite, plus a little apple with a lot of cinnamon and a couple of mandarin oranges. Looking beautiful. This is absolutely wonderful. The mandarin oranges, the best by date was last year, but they're still fine. The little sandwich is perfect. Love this plate. This salad kit is beautiful, but I'm not done. There's more. Ooh, I took some of that buttermilk fried chicken, heated it up in the microwave, and we're gonna slice this up. All right, let's add the chicken to the salad. And here's dinner. I've got the kale salad kit with the cut up fried chicken, looking good. I added a little bit of the orange sauce that came with the fried chicken. Yum. All right, let's give this fried chicken salad a try. This is really good. I love these salad cups. They are wonderful. I love making a food pantry meal. See, by the look of my dirty shoes and dirty gloves, I was up in the yard and messed up because now I got these long socks on and you know what that means, poison ivy. I've been using this old calamine lotion. This is almost empty. I got to go to the store, get a new bottle. And here's lunch. I've got three little cheddar biscuits with some jam and goat cheese. Plus I have a little apple with peanut butter and cinnamon. Okay, let's try one of these little biscuits. Doesn't that look good? It's really good. I love the combination of the jam with the goat cheese on it. And I did heat up the cheddar biscuits in the air fryer. Really good. Let's try this apple slice. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. The apple is fantastic. Thank you, food pantry. This is a miniature cannoli. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the chocolate design pattern on top. It's gorgeous. Time to try the cannoli. That is the perfect sized dessert. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's like a two to three bite dessert. Excellent. Thank you, food pantry. This buttermilk fried chicken. I already busted up into this and had a few the other day. Let's go ahead and get these in the air fryer. Mmm, yummy. Wait a minute. Who am I kidding? Let's have faux. that. Alright, let's fix up this chicken. We got some Sabra Singles guacamole. We got the sauce. Let's try this plain goat cheese crumbles. And a cheese biscuit. Out of the ground black pepper. But this orange sauce is so hot, it's already got the pepper in it. We'll sing the pepper song anyway. Pepper, 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 it's pepper time. Here is my beautiful plate. We got the buttermilk chicken with goat cheese crumbles. We got cantaloupe, a cheddar biscuit, guacamole, looking beautiful. This looks good. Let's try this chicken. Look at that. That is really good. The hot sauce that came with the chicken is really hot this time. 
Last time it wasn't that hot, but this time I think it's got a lot of cayenne pepper in it. The melon is really good. Let's try this guacamole and goat cheese. Absolutely love goat cheese. I never thought shopping at a food pantry I'd be able to get something like that. Thank you, food pantry. We gonna make a protein shake. I added the protein powder to my favorite drinking jar. I got my little milk from the food pantry. Added a little cinnamon, that's what these brown flecks are. And part of the milk was frozen, so it's like a big giant ice cube to keep my protein shake cold. Let's give it a try. Ooh, that is good. I like this. It's a peanut butter flavor shake. That's like dessert, yummy. Let's make a meal. Oh, this has a lot of protein in it. 19 grams of protein for one cup. Let's pop this in the microwave. Set up a lamp in the kitchen. How do you like that? I think that looks pretty nice. We're gonna do one more minute. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna add this chicken. I microwave that for another minute. I'm still out of black pepper, gotta go to the store, but we're gonna use some cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. I can't be singing the long pepper song with cayenne. I don't put as much cayenne as I would black pepper, but I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. And I just made me some noodle-free chicken soup. Okay, let's give this a try. That's really good. I don't use the coffee grinder every day, but when I do, it's usually for my man. Lucky him, he's got some fresh coffee. I need a drink. Let's give this hemp mortar a try. That is pretty good. I really like it. Well, I've been working on my place. I'm not gonna show you because it's gonna be for an upcoming video, but it's coming along pretty good. I'll show you on Friday's video. That's gonna be the goal at least. Thank you to everyone that chose to hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate all of the returning subscribers watching my videos. Thank you for coming back. If you have any favorite meals that I made or anything that you really liked from the food pantry, if there is, please let me know what it was. This video comes out on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can make it. Until then, have a great rest of your week.